about the buildings and the professional concepts of Nili Portugali. I simply take stakes and try to place myself exactly in front of the desired view. I place the stakes here as if they are the corners of the room or the exact angle of the wall. The architect Nili Portugali designs her houses directly on the site as opposed to on the drafting table in the office. She tries to feel physically what is happening on the site. In her opinion, only direct experience can provide the right decisions concerning the design of the house. Every planning decision that I want to make has to relate to reality, the landscape, the topography and the direction of the sun that occurs right here on the site itself. One of the amazing views that we see from here is the Mediterranean Sea in front of us. It was quite clear to me that when the person who would live here will enter the house, in his entrance hall, he will have a window directly facing this view. Portugali believes that she is changing worldview by reviving design patterns and building qualities that were used in the past by while adopting modern technology. The project must be built as an organic part of the environment. In her opinion, the architectural design must be based on universal qualities which are timeless. The quality of the design is not connected to style, place, or time. It is also not an issue of taste, but rather objective facts that can be measured and repeated. The planning process that I'm talking about is the one by which I literally experiencing the environment as a whole here on the site itself in a very direct way. Here I am the kibbutz standing on the hill where I planned the new residential neighborhood. Now I can tell you <coughs> that sometimes 10 degrees difference in the location of a window or the wall can make the whole difference. And this difference can be felt and judged only here on the site. When I approach the site, programmatic data is known and the questions are defined accordingly. But the search for the answers is done right here on the site. According to my worldview, the reality already exists. Such as in the evolution of an embryo is the evolution of the building plans. From the beginning, every part virtually exists, although not yet morphologically defined. In a process of differentiation, all the parts of the human being are clearly defined. Here is the same. Apparently, things exist. And my role is not to invent reality, but to reveal it and give it a morphological definition. And that is actually the building itself. Here in the new music center and library, located at the historic heart of Tel Aviv, the foremost thing which was important for me was to preserve the spirit of the existing square. When I'm talking about this hall, named the spirit or holiness of a place, I'm referring to the calmness, the pleasant atmosphere of the square as a whole, which I wanted to maintain the human scale of the building, the materials of which it was made, like the simple plaster, and so on. The color of the building complements in harmony the green color of the trees and the blue of the sky. The building I'm doing must enhance the existing environment and contribute to the experience people are having while walking in the public domain. Musicians can play on the terrace in front of the building while audience will sit in the square enjoying the concert. The experience I'm talking about or the creation of a place that endowed with a soul is based on a very coherent concept that can be named the holistic approach and that is opposed to the mechanistic one. 
that spiritual experience we have in all those places that we can define as places with soul, although we might have difficulty in defining this quality with words, this same quality we experience in a Buddhist temple in Japan or in a Greek village in Karo Synagogue in Safed in Israel. The explanation to that is that this deep spiritual experience is a mirror to the inner diagram of the human soul, which is common to all of us regardless of our cultural origin. This quality has nothing to do with yearning to the past or any specific style. It's true that in the past the world view or the way that people saw the world led to this quality. But if today we will replace current conceptions with that same cosmology, we will reach that same quality and have buildings that possess these timeless values. That same emotional experience is one which, according to my architectural concept, has to occur in any place you create, whether it is residential building or public institutions or neighborhoods in a city. What I mean by holistic approach is that we regard a building as an organic system, the existence of which depend on the proper, ever-changing interrelations among the different parts. That is to say that when I'm talking about a building, I'm talking about a whole language where the details are not conceived as ornaments or fragments for their own sake, but as a hierarchical system where the details derive from the larger whole to which they belong and are fully responsible to enhance. The detail in a building, take for example the lighting or the railing of the staircase, are not regarded as a collection of design detail belonging to the real, what we call today, interior design. I'm dealing with the building as one continuous whole where each part has its function within the whole and that's where its beauty comes from. The building is a structure of balance between the specific context related to its activities or the environmental conditions where it is located and the innate patterns which are beyond time and place or context, the ones that are structured in our mind and reflect our common basic needs as human beings, whether applied in a music center or in any other place. That is to say that people need natural daylight, whether they are in a music center or in a kindergarten. Uh, Nili Portugali, she is the architect that they made the whole plan for this wonderful building and I think that all of us can see it and enjoy what we are seeing here. The outer appearance and the inside of this building are really unique and uh, I think that this uh, is going to be one of uh, the most successful centers. In the entrance to the building, there is a wide staircase that serves as a transition area between the main sidewalk of the school and the building itself. We enter the building via a porch, where there are benches for the students to sit and read books in an informal atmosphere. We wanted to create a place which will act as a cultural and educational center. Beyond having this library as a source of education, I wanted to create a place which will serve as a cultural center within the school as a whole. To the architect Nili Portugali, she knows it's a love story, who was given a free end in pursuing her creative imagination. The story on this unique building yet to be told in every architectural book. One additional example was in the choosing of the color for the building. How was that done? The color was chosen while she was walking on the site, while the golden autumn leaves were falling and covering the walls. 
that's the way it was chosen. To produce that shade of paint took us three months. Every detail created in this library was out of love. 